Now here we are, <coughs> we're looking at the library and if I can open up File Explorer, I've got these files in documents, there's MUD macros, AF macros, there's the zip file <coughs> of a similar type, FX Monkey, there's MUD AF macros. Now what you've got to do in Windows, because there's more than one macro in the file, you have to go to View, Studio and click on Library. Once you've got Library showing, then you go to the little drop down menu, Import Macros, and there's the MUD AF Macros there. And I can import that again. But having done it once, I won't do it again because there it is, text on a curve, wrap around. I should have actually put it into its own folder. But there we go. Oops, sorry. That moves very quickly because there it is, MUDS Macros. And I can close FX Monkey and I've just got MUDS there as well and the default so there we've got MUDS macros and that's from that file okay easy but if you just go to macros and import it import from macros nothing shows up now this is a problem if you like perhaps even a fault in affinity photo because a single macro is called AF macro, whereas if you've got a little library with more than one re, uh, recording in it, then you've got AF macros, and it's AF macros that we've got here. If you have one macro, then you import with that method. If you have a library of macros, you import with that method. And there's your MUDS macros.